Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the analog averager. Specifically, we will look at its impulse response and the output when the input is an unit step signal. When the input is an unit step signal. Given the system equation, y of t equal to 1 by t integral t minus t by 2 t plus t by 2 x of tau d tau. So from the definition we can clearly see that the system is basically finding an average of the input between the within the interval t minus t by 2 to t plus capital T by 2. So the impulse response can be evaluated as follows. We simply plug in that x of t is equal to the impulse signal delta of t. So then the output is the impulse response h of t is equal to 1 by t integral t minus capital T by 2 t plus capital T by 2 delta of tau d tau. Clearly this integral is equal to 1 by t for values of t between minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. This can be derived by using the sifting property that is the other function is basically 1 and we have delta of tau that is the impulse signal. So when we sift the signal you basically have 1 that is the other function is a constant so we have 1 and we have 1 by t over here and the value is only non-zero between within the interval minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. So this is the impulse response h of t which is basically a constant between the within the interval minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. Now let us look at the output when x of t that is the input is equal to an unit step signal u of t. Then by the definition of the system equation y of t is equal to 1 by t integral t minus t by 2 t plus t by 2 u of tau d tau. Clearly u of tau is 1 within this interval. So the solution is 1 by t and the integral is tau and the limits are t minus capital T by 2 t plus capital T by 2 which is clearly equal to 1 by t into capital T which is 1. So since the unit step signal is basically 1 for all values of tau so the average should also be equal to 1 because it's a constant value. Now we can verify the, the result by using the convolution formula that is the output y of t should also be equal to x of t convolved with the impulse response h of t. So which is by definition equal to integral h of tau x of t minus tau d tau and since h of tau from the result and since h of t is equal to 1 by t for this interval we can replace the integral as follows or rewrite the integral as follows. So by using the definition of the impulse response we have the integral minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 1 by t into u of t minus tau d tau. Now by using change of variables that is t minus tau is equal to s. So for tau is equal to minus t by 2 that is the new variable s is equal to t plus t by 2 and for tau equal to plus t by 2, s should be equal to t minus t by 2, capital T by 2. So the integration becomes t plus t by 2 to t minus t by 2, 1 by t into u of s minus ds. So this is in fact equal to the integral t minus t by 2 to t plus t by 2 and 1 by t should be outside and this is u of s ds which is exactly same as the integral here which is exactly same as the integral here that is a, from the definition of the system equation. So this should be equal to 1. So we should either know the system equation or the impulse response to compute the output of a system. Thanks for watching.